why I usually stay home alone. Hi, my name is Jim. If you haven't seen my videos before, um, I talk about thoracic outlet syndrome a lot. I've had that for over 40 years now. It's a condition that affects the nerves and the circulation up here in my neck, shoulders, and arms. And I also had uh, three lower back surgeries, including a two-level fusion on levels L4-5 and L5-S1. That was uh, about seven years ago now. So um, anyway, the reason I uh, brought uh, got on this topic here is um, most of the time I usually stay home alone. Uh, my wife died six and a half years ago, and uh, but when in, when you live with chronic pain, there's just so many things that will flare me up that most people don't realize. Like a good example, like I think it was Wednesday. I um, I went over to my aunt's house. She said, you know, you're. Some of your aunts and cousins are coming over and your mom and we're going to have some pizza if you want to come. So I'm like, yeah, okay. So I thought, why not get out of the house for a bit? So went over there. Everything was good. And usually um, there's not many chairs I can sit in. So I'm kind of very careful about, you know, what chairs I sit in. Um, I can't ride in other people's cars very well. I have to kind of, as you like to drive my own car, just because I can control everything and I know the seat is pretty good for me. But anyway, there was this one chair in the living room when I walked in. I'm like, it looked pretty straight. It looked like, like I was standing for a little bit and I'm like, you know, I think I might be able to sit in that chair. I'll give it a try. Sat in there, that chair, like maybe like five or ten minutes. That's it. I got up. I could already tell my hands were were stiff and my hands were kind of starting to swell a little bit was which is one of the symptoms of a TOS flare thoracic outlet syndrome flare so um, I'm like oh no so anyway then you know we moved to the kitchen table or dining room table and you know had some pizza and stuff and you know I was pretty uncomfortable from you know that point on after s sitting in the chair then I had to start getting up and standing up and moving around so I didn't really end up staying that long and um, I'm still like sort of flared up from that now. My hands are stiff, my arms and shoulders are hurting right now. And um, that's one of the reasons that I rarely go out. And like I said, I like to drive my own car because the other thing is not just the seats, but like if I'm a passenger in uh, somebody else's car, just the way they drive, if they, you know, go around corners too fast, if they speed up and slow down too fast, just little things like that will flare me up. And they're not aware of it. It's not their fault. I mean, thoracic outlet syndrome is very rare. And also, it's, it's really hard to explain it to people. In fact, sometimes I can get away with doing certain things and other times I can't. So that's that's one reason, like I said, that I just stay home by myself most of the time. Same thing happened on 4th of July. It was an outdoor picnic. I sat to eat on a, you know, an outdoor picnic bench. There's no back on those benches. And that, that time my, my hip flared up, my right hip. So a <laughs> couple weeks I was hobbling around and could hardly walk because it, because it flared up my hips. So there's another example of that. And then, um, you know, people will like try to get me, fix me up. They, you know, they're always trying to, like I said, my wife died six and a half years ago. People try to fix me up and stuff. And I really haven't gone out with anyone. I mean, I did actually, there was one person that I met and we went to the, to like a couple political things, rally type things and stuff. Nothing romantic, but like the first time I rode in her truck, I was okay. Second time, I got flared up bad, like for like a month or more. So it's like, I don't know, from, it went a farther distance. So, um, and like I said, you know, other riding in other people's vehicles and the way they drive, they, I mean, they don't know. So it's like, you know, I just kind of, you know, we're friends on Facebook and stuff now, but I just, you know, I didn't even really explain what happened to her that that much. It's just because people just don't understand it. But I just decided, you know what, I'm better off just being alone. It's just too hard to try to like keep up with normal people because they just don't understand it. So I'm kind of like, um, you know, I'm kind of good just being by myself because I can manage everything better. I stay in my own house. I know just what I can and can't do. I have a couple of folding chairs that I can sit in that are okay. And I can just try kind of 
control the environment better. I mean, you know, I still do things that will get me flared up, but, you know, it's just like I have to kind of be a hermit to control, to control everything. As soon as I get, like, out and about and try to do things with, with other people and stuff, it seems like, um, you know, I'm a lot more likely to get flared up. Sometimes I can get away with it, but, you know, a lot of times not so much. One of my favorite things to do when I get bored or lonely is just, you know, go out and have a few beers. Like, there's a few little pubs and stuff around here in this area I can go to. And then, I, when I do that, I'll just stand at the bar. Because I can't, I can't sit on those bar stools or anything like that, but I can stand and, you know, and, and most people are don't really seem to notice that too much but I you know I never sit I try to sit on those stools or anything for the exact reason I was just talking about here so do I ever get lonely well sometimes and like I said that's usually if I do I just go out like I said now a few beers and stuff but most of the time like I'm here by myself you know I don't don't really talk to people I mean I talk to maybe the neighbors around here a little bit if I'm out walking and I run into them or whatever just stuff like that but besides that I really don't have much of a social life I was watching the grand the grandkids like once a week but they're all in school now so that came to an end so I'm kinda just being a hermit out here by myself but um, I know that I can manage my pain a lot better that way so um, I actually feel like you know I'm doing pretty good with that. Anyway, so that's my video for today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.